looks like a dead end up ahead. Luffy said, do you feel anything here? No, not right now. Yep, Salatoma. Is the demon the real reason the Abbey's closed off the forest? Worry about it later. It's flower picking time. Agreed. What do you think, kiddo? I told you these things were hard on the eyes. I mean, who puts those colors together? Yeah, they're really nasty looking. But if they help the others, that's good enough for me. What the? This must be the demon we were warned about. Are you all right? Abita? I'm okay. So much for this demon being hard to find. Is this the Reaper's curse yet again? We're just getting started. Another barrier. That barrier. Even my Praetor Hearts can't break that. What's going on here? Why go to such lengths to keep this demon alive? Either way, I don't think we're hauling how many flowers unless we beat up Mr. Bugglesworth here. Right. Everyone, let's do this. and help us get rid of it. Collecting is a sweatier hobby than I thought. Look, can we keep him? No, oh, come on. it over. I'll dispose of it. Abby had some reason for protecting it. Maybe we should keep it alive for observation. She can do that. You want it, you feed it. I will. I'll take care of him. Anyway, now that we've got these flowers, Eleanor and my crew ought to be out of danger. Hey! Forgetting somebody? It looks like we've closed the door on this little episode. 
That insect demon was a bit of a surprise, but I still think this curse business is overblown. <sighs> I can count on one hand how many have survived more than three years at my side. If you're not careful, you might wind up as corpse number 50. 50? That's how many comrades I've lost. Oh, I... I'm sorry. Just saying, don't let your guard down. Right. Now that we've got what we need, we should get back to the ship. Call this kind of bug. You're way into that thing, aren't you? Now we have to find our way back from the maze. a bit of an awkward question what kind of demon would you say velvet is uh well oh don't worry i'm not trying to find a vulnerability or anything i'm only asking out of curiosity it's not that i doubt you eleanor i just don't know much about her myself you fought against her haven't you she consumes her enemies with her left hand and claims their power she's a demon like absolutely no other Plunk just about any demon down in front of her, and I bet she could devour it in a single gulp. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty much true. Sometimes demons that she doesn't entirely devour turn human again, but... What? You've seen demons turn back into humans? Is it that big of a deal? Of course it is! Everyone knows that once you catch demon flight, that's it. There's no turning back. Although, I did see it happen with the High Priest Gideon. I wonder if there's some kind of connection. Not that it matters if he turned back. Demon or not, he's dead either way. Whatever it is, it's of no concern to a pirate. If I were you, I wouldn't worry about what's normal. If things were normal, we wouldn't have found each other. You have a point. Sorry I couldn't help, Eleanor. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to keep digging until I find out more about the kind of demon Velvet is. It looks pretty tough. Yeah, I've been around a long time, but I've never seen anything like it. It must be a new species. Incredible. A new species is usually named after the person who discovered it. The Lafayette rhinoceros beetle, then? Rhinoceros beetle? Whoa, now, that's a stag beetle if I ever saw one. No, those things may look like pincers, but they're actually horns. A three-horned beetle will cause quite a stir in the bug community. Oh, come on. I know pincers when I see them, and those were some mighty pincers. The Lafayette stag beetle has a better ring to it, right? What part of that sounds better? The whole thing. Stag beetles are the strongest, after all. I can't let that go unchallenged. The rhinoceros is the king of beetledom. Beetledom? More like beetle dumb. Huh? <laughs> that doesn't help your case at all. Rokuro, Aizen, I, I feel a dangerous storm brewing. The You're one has a one-trick pony with its horn, but a stag can cut its opponents in half. Its weapons can be used in any situation. The stag is a true swordsman. That's petty trickery. The only beetle with the raw muscle to decide its own fate is the rhino. But they only live for a year. The stag can survive through the winter. They live hard and die young. Is the beauty of such a life lost on you? Why is it that boys get so excited when they talk about bugs? Rhinoceros, stag, or butterfly? It's all no matter to me. They all look like cockroaches. They're, They're totally, totally different! different. <laughs> so, what will you name it? Um, I think Rhino Stagros for now. Well, that was a thing again. Okay, she brought you home. Salat 
Toma flowers smell so sweet, like raspberries. Let me smell. <laughs> oh, they smell tasty. Do they really taste that bad? They lure you in with their scent, but once that flower hits your tongue, its flavor transforms into something dreadful. Dreadful, dreadful like, like how? how? The petals melt into a liquid thousands of times stronger than mint, and the leaves and stem taste richer than the richest beef tongue. The two flavors clash and fizz on your tongue, and your whole body is racked with choking pain. What? Seriously? That's what Ifrit told me anyway. It's actually true. That's exactly what it's like. You've tasted it before, haven't you? Is there any way around it? You can squeeze it, boil it, mix it with honey, but nothing gets rid of the taste. Trying to mix it or sweeten it makes it even harder for some to swallow. Have you taken yours? No, I'll do it once I'm back on the ship with the pirates. Wait, are you the type that puts off unpleasant tasks? Not at all. I simply cannot be the first to drink it when others are still waiting for us to deliver their doses. You do know that you'll have to drink double the dose after you start displaying the symptoms, right? Are you certain? Quit being so stubborn. It'd be better if you just got it over with. And you've taken your dose? No, I don't need to. Having a tethered Moloch drink it is enough to absorb its effects. But to a Moloch, it tastes... Yes, the cuter you are, the worse it tastes. <laughs> it's good to be an exorcist, eh, Eleanor? Do I have to drink it? Uh, of course not. I'll suffer through my own dose of Salatoma. Well, Pooh, how dull. Whew. Wait, didn't we already... No, you this is a different one. chance that wanted Moloch would launch an attack here? His target's probably Loringen, but stay sharp just in case. He might try to break open the bug cage as a diversion. Wanted Moloch? Loringen? Hmm. First that demon wrecks Helavis, and then Eleanor betrays us? We're never gonna catch a break. Quit whining. Cleaning up messes is our job. <sighs> Looks like our Abbey buddies are up to something. And the bug cage. That barrier, I assume? If so, it won't be long before they find out we broke in. Then we should make our exit while we can. Forward killing. <laughs> Everyone attack! 
It was a close one, but I am the victor. Hey, how goes it? Zavid! Easy there, bro. I don't got time to spar today. Got a date lined up. That artifact you've got belongs to Eifried. Why do you have it? Just picked it up off the ground somewhere. Don't screw with me, tough guy. I have ways of making you talk. Ha! <laughs> I wonder how much pain gets you to open up. You're the one about to be tested. It's not up to you how this goes. If I want to talk, we'll talk. And if I want to fight, we'll fight. <laughs> what are you... What did she do? I'd play more, but I don't want to keep old pointy beard waiting. We'll chat some more later with our fists. Wait! Aizen! We need to get the flowers to everyone on the ship! You can handle it! But you're... <laughs> oh, don't leave the team again. Let's head back, Luffy said. All right. That thing Zavid was holding? What do you think that was? From the sound of it, it seemed to belong to Eifried. I've never seen any object or art quite like it. Maybe it's that relic Eifried brought back from a continent across the sea. An art from another continent. Do you think Aizen will be all right? That Moloch seemed to know what he was doing. I'd rather we just stayed out of his way, but... First the throne, and now here. What is Zavid after, anyway? He was probably just making up that date business. But still, old pointy beard? Just like Eifried. When I was talking with Benwick, he said Eifried had a pointy beard. You don't say. Then I bet Zavid is that wanted Moloch the Abbey's looking for. Yeah, he must be aware they're after him. And then he baited Aizen into following him, using something that belonged to Eifried. And I'm pretty sure Aizen knew that, but he went after him all the same. Ugh, this can only go well, I'm sure. Is Aizen in trouble? It doesn't matter either way, if his Corsair scourge goes untreated. For now, let's get back to the ship. Um, is that a frog on top of a frog? Wait, the are they? There are two frogs. Um, okay. Come on. Come on. Look, a frog. It's unusual to see one this close to the sea. Hey, I thought of a poem. Day at Port Renied, a frog jumps into the void. The sound of the sea. Mogilu? What was that? Just a little poem that popped into my head. My inspiration came from pondering the terror a frog would feel if it unwittingly leapt into the salty ocean. That... that's... I don't get it at all. I got another one! Skinny little frog, Mogilu is on your side. Do not give up hope. Um... I guess that one is about... rooting for a frog? That's right. I once bet a fortune on a game of chance involving frogs. That was my inspiration for this one. What do you think? Poetic, isn't it? I think you have a gambling problem. So... Did this skinny frog win? Nope. I lost my entire bet. I think we can call that poetic justice. Yep. We brought back your solitomas. Drink up. You've saved us! But where's the first mate? We bumped into some wannabe tough guy Moloch and he just took off after him. What? That must have been Zavid! Why didn't you guys follow him? 
And leave you all with the Corsair Scourge? Yes! Aizen's the one in danger here. Is it because the Abbey is after Zavid? So you even knew about it? I heard the details from a merchant who deals with the Abbey. Some big shot exorcist named Melchior has set up a trap for Zavid and Loringen. If Aizen gets caught up in that, he might not make it out alive. So now there's Melchior to worry about. Why is Lord Melchior assuming direct command to capture Zavid? Wait, that's not important. What matters is I can turn Lafayette's head over to him and finally return to the Abbey. Melchior is a legate, a powerful enemy, trap or no. Ugh, you guys are useless. Well, fine. If you're not going to go help him, we will. What made you think you're capable of being any help? Would you let an ally get slaughtered just because you were scared? What? We want to save him. Maybe we'll lose. It still won't stop us. We are the ones who decide our fates. Only us. That's just the creed of Eifried's pirates. Uh, you're a real hothead, you know that? Nobody said anything about not helping Aizen. Huh? You all stay here. Take your medicine like good little boys. And be ready to welcome back your first mate and captain. The captain? Why else would Aizen knowingly barge into a trap, if not to save Eifried? Oh, of course! Leave the ship and crew to me! Here, this one's for you. Those pirates haven't a lick of sense in them. They don't let reason dictate who they protect. <sighs> if you say so, demon. Come on, we waiting. <laughs> He's down. Now, about where Aizen's headed. Those exorcists were talking about some place called Loringen. Yes, it's a tower in the northern part of Westgand where the exorcist train. Lines up with what Benwick told us. That must be the place. There must be a lot of exorcists. Hang in there, Aizen. That'll take more than basic exorcists to do him in. We ought to pity any poor exorcists who meet the Reaper. Right. Let's work together and find him. Yeah, well, now he's going back. Toma, is as awful as I remember. I'd hoped I'd never have to drink it again. Are you all right, Eleanor? Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> what does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu. Here's your dose of Solitoma. No! Get back here! N don't! Keep that salad away from me! I see. The sweet taste of another suffering. Well, this was comedic. Oh, another skip. Let me just take a little skip. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing despite the horrible pain she felt. 
Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah, I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone? Hmm? Uh, Magilu is traveling with us, even though she doesn't care. And that... Yes, go on. I don't really understand what that's about. Ah! Uh. <gasps> Miss Mogilu, hang in there! <laughs> <laughs> well, it is amazing in some sense, I suppose. <laughs>